Let's say you have an instructional screencast that you want to show students, and since you already have Sakai as a course management site or Blackboard or Canvas, you want to actually go ahead and embed the video into that site rather than creating another site to embed the video into. I'm going to show you how to uh, embed video into, the, into your resources section of your respective course management site. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the page that is uh, relevant to the class that you're teaching. So I'm going to um, go to a class that I taught last year and use that as a sample. <clears throat> We're going to embed the video in question under resources. And of course, course management sites usually have a resources section that allows you to upload PDFs, documents, uh, Word files. But what a lot of people don't realize is that you can actually create uh, video websites. You can upload videos either as a link or as an HTML, and I'll show you how to do both. So the, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go into one of these. And we are going to, first of all, add a web link to the video. So let's say that you have a YouTube video and you have the link for it. All you need to do is go into your YouTube page, um, get the link for the video, and then once you do add web links, it will actually just allow you to paste in the URL and then give it a name. So if you don't want the URL to be the name of the file, you would actually um, just put in the name instructional video. And then, and then what will happen is whenever students click on that particular resource, they will just go to that web link. You could do the same thing with Google Drive. If your video is public, you can just get the URL and, and paste in the URL that way. A uh, more sophisticated way to do it, and the way that I prefer, is to actually create an HTML page. The advantage of creating an HTML page is it doesn't kick the students out to another website to view the video. It actually creates a page within Sakai itself to allow you to uh, view the video. And here's how we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to look at some of my videos that I've posted in YouTube, and I'll use that as my example. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to a video I created here. And below the video, I would go to Share. And then it will give me an embed code right here. And I would copy this embed code and once I'm on this rich text manager, and this is true whenever you embed HTML code into a page, you would click on source. That's for source code because that's what we're putting in. So it will read this not as text, but as source code. Click it, and now you press continue. And you can title it, instructional video. Um, here is a video on how to use sites. Very important, you want to make sure that the, uh, you choose a, a, an appropriate privacy setting. So if you only want members of the site to see the file and no one else outside, you would press that. And that's probably the most likely. Uh, or you could have the, the, it be publicly viewable and you could actually um, do it that way so anyone could actually see the video. I would choose this, especially because uh, with copyrights, it's it, you probably want to restrict access to your students. And again, you might want to make clear what the copyright status of the piece is. So if it's a video you have and you hold a copyright on it, you would just put I hold copyright, which means so that anyone who goes to that video sees that they really can't copy that video. That's a video that's yours and yours only uh, for instructional purposes. Whatever the, the copyright is, you'll, you'll need to figure that out. So once you do that, you press finish, and you notice that now it has a, a page here as an HTML page. And if we go to it, we will see uh, it's going to ask us to open with Firefox or whatever your browser is. And once it's open, there's a video. And notice that it actually is still technically in Sakai. Uh, this is just a subpage of Sakai. And real quick, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using your Google Drive. So I'm going to pull up my Google Drive. I'm going to remove this. And we're going to create another page using a video in Google Drive. So again, we're going to go to Add. We're going to create HTML page. And to get the source code from a Google Drive video, if I can 
find a Google Drive video here. You open the video and you press file and under file there is uh, an option to embed the video and just like the other it gives you the embed code. So now all you need to do is go back to Sakai again press source do that continue and finish and once again when you open the file it will actually come up with the actual video. There you are. So to embed video is a pretty easy process and if you use Sakai it's uh, pretty easy to keep on using Sakai or Blackboard or Canvas. I'm sure these instructions are pretty translatable into, um, into your web page.